can you really handle my 4C realness? Can you? Can you do it? Y'all gonna have to stay tuned. It has been so long. I have no excuse. I have been way behind on my hair in real life and on YouTube. Oh my God, is that a pin? That is so crazy. Okay. Ooh, it has been and fun for three days. I already have a wash routine on my channel and that's usually what I do. Since Shea Moisture is canceled, let's try something else. I was my own business and write it, da 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 And I found this company, Maui Moisture. Sounds like white girl stuff, right? Probably is. What caught my eye is they have a shea butter shampoo and the bottle looks like this. And I also picked up their shea butter conditioner, which looks like this. Neither of these were cheap. Okay, especially if you don't have a Rite Aid card. It's supposed to be for dry, damaged hair. So, we're gonna try. The main ingredient in the shampoo is aloe leaf juice. Hmm. Okay. Second ingredient, water. Good sign so far, Maui Moisture, good sign. Second ingredient in their conditioner is also aloe, aloe juice and water. But can you really handle my 4C realness? Can you, can you do it? Y'all gonna have to stay tuned. So first what you'd wanna do is dampen your hair before washing it. Well, you'll probably do this in the shower or in your sink, but for video purposes, we're going to wet my hair. That was my whole temple. Hey, that's taking too long. Oh my God. Most of it is hitting my floor. Please do this in your sink. I'm begging you. Maui Moisture Shampoo. This is what it looks like. I know what you're thinking. Oh my God, you're not gonna section your hair. What is wrong with you? My floor is like, what are you doing? So yeah, let's just put that on. Now I'm gonna section my hair into four. For the natural hair now, these come for me. I am sectioning my hair, okay? I'm not done shampooing, but I'm just showing you, like, I'm not going completely crazy. So far, the only thing I don't like is this gooey thing that happens, because I feel like it gets on the floor or somewhere. But it's probably because the main ingredient is aloe. It looks like snot. Massage scalp only. Try not to get on ends. Use the pot, like, the pads at your fingertips. Massage, avoid, and scalp only. As you can see, it doesn't really lather too much. I mean, it kind of does a little bit. This is like, ugh. My hair doesn't feel stripped at all. I think this is going on so smooth. And it feels really good. It feels refreshed. You know, no complaint. I'm not putting on any on my ends because I just usually don't. Twisting it back up. Now I'm gonna go wash this out. Just the shampoo is washed out. And hmm, I must say, it is a little like drying like while you're doing it, but now that my hair is out of the water and just situated, it feels fine. Like when you're washing it out, you can feel all the oil and dirt coming off and like becoming a whole new woman. I don't know. It's very interesting. Um, I like it. Now time for the part that you guys are really here for, the conditioner and detangling session. You can finger detangle if you want, girl. You can finger detangle all day long. That is not me. I'm sorry, it has never been me. I'm gonna use this paddle brush and the Mal Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Conditioner. So far, as far as feel, I'm not impressed. Like the shampoo is a lot better than the conditioner. Like it doesn't feel that great, but I haven't detangled yet. Okay, right off the bat, this conditioner is way too thick. Like there's no slip to detangle. Well, you might want to detangle beforehand because I am struggling. For ejemplo, okay. It's like really thick. Put it on, put it on, put it on. And it just, I don't know, it feels like I'm dry, doing this dry. I should not feel like that. But I have to do like multiple passes, which is a no, no. And it gets caught in my brush, which my hair never gets caught in my brush. So overall review of this product, um, I think the shampoo is really, really good. It doesn't really strip your hair. It actually cleans it, you can feel it cleaning. Once you rinse everything out and it has water in it, it feels fine. Conditioner though, for my hair texture, way too thick. Um, no slip whatsoever. So if you're trying to detangle with this, good luck. You're gonna need it. I wouldn't really recommend this for that. Well, the good thing is that their products are vegan, eco-friendly, all that type of stuff. So if you're into that, for sure. If you want something that would actually work for your kinky hair, 
the conditioner might not be for you. And I even like deep conditioned it after a while. Oh, this is what I do to like dry my hair, put them in bantu knots, uh, and then just leave them because I'm a little lazy like that. If you like this video and want to see more videos, like, comment, and subscribe for more hair videos, hair reviews. And if you'd like to see me do a different video, comment that below. And I will see ya. We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Oh yeah, this is fun. Woo yeah. Woo yeah, baby. Okay, and montage. <laughs>